Hi, I'm uh, Estela Jacinto. I'm an associate professor here at uh, Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. The title of my NIH grant is the regulation of uh, cell metabolism and proliferation by mTOR complex 2. Uh, I got into science because I, I've always loved uh, discovering things and solving puzzles. And that's the reason also why we do basic science research, uh, is because when you're doing basic science, it's um, really trying to solve some biological problem there. Uh, and uh, you don't know where it can lead you. Um, there's a lot of surprises and expected findings, which I find very exciting. So I've been working on mTOR for more than 15 years now. Um, I've started as a postdoctoral student in a lab actually that discovered TOR, uh, the target of rapamycin, and this is in the lab of Michael Hall in Switzerland. Rapamycin was initially isolated from soil samples in the island of Rapa Nui, or Easter Island, and during those days they were looking at how it, these compounds can inhibit the growth of cells in the lab. And it was shown that can, it can inhibit the growth of T cells, and thus it was used as an, as an immunosuppressant. So we're interested in how nutrients, uh, such as from the food that we eat, how they are taken up by the cells, and how it's being processed or metabolized in the cells, so that cell can um, use it to produce energy or to grow and proliferate. For normal cells, the need for nutrients is intermittent. It's uh, on demand, and it's used to maintain its function and to produce energy. For cancer cells, they have a continuous need for uh, nutrients. So they have to continually take up nutrients, metabolize it. They become very hungry, and they need those nutrients so that they can keep on proliferating. Because mTOR is central to the control of metabolic processes in the cell, so blocking mTOR is one of the keys to controlling cancer. About one in three people will develop cancer in their lifetime, and so this is a very urgent problem. And we all can relate to cancer. We all have a relative or a friend who is fighting or has died from cancer. Um, and on a personal note, I uh, had to um, uh, deal with it myself because my daughter had to fight it um, a few years ago, and uh, one thing that I was so appreciative of is that during her treatment, I realized that the years of research uh, in childhood leukemia has progressed in a way that um, we can save lives of these children, and I was very thankful for that. Um, my daughter survived um, her leukemia, and, um, and now I am dedicated into studying um, this um, type of cancer.